Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is my 18 week pregnancy update. Thank you for joining me for this video. I am ever so grateful for everybody that comes along and watches and supports my channel as I am really trying to make it grow and hopefully it could be something where we all can join in with comments and help each other out. So if you are in the middle of your pregnancy journey right now, if you're just starting out, you just found out you're pregnant or maybe you've already had a child or maybe you don't have any, whoever you are, thank you so much for watching. Right, so um, I should actually introduce myself if you're new here. I am Rebecca. I am a mum to four children already and I am currently pregnant with number five. So I'm going to be a mum to five children. That did not bring a tear to my eye. <laughs> I'm just, I've got a bit of a leaky eye. So yeah, I have a 17 year old and then a huge gap. And then I have two and a half year old twins, a 15 month old baby toddler. And now I am pregnant with this one, which is due in the autumn. Busy uh, life we're gonna have here. But anyway, let's get into today's video. So 18 weeks. My 18 weeks started off quite a bit of a drama, really. We'd had a party with our neighbors. We had a big, big gathering. It was really nice. There was a barbecue and everyone bought food and it was just so nice. We all got together. I'm a vegetarian. I wasn't eating any of the meat or anything, but the next day, later on in the afternoon, I actually started to feel quite unwell. Within a couple of hours, I was being sick a lot. Um, it, I took a big turn for the worst. It was horrible, really, really horrible. And then I remember saying to Reese and my daughter Summer, I do not think this is pregnancy related at all. I think there's something else going on. And I also said to them, I think that it's a stomach issue and you're gonna get it as well. Now, at that point, we didn't know what was going on. And then um, during that night, my daughter, she became very unwell as well. And then by, oh God, six o'clock in the morning, Reese was very unwell as well. So we were all really unwell. And I just Googled my symptoms like you do, you know, get onto good old Google. And Google told me that I had food poisoning and I needed to contact my midwife as soon as possible, which I actually went into a big fit of upset because I was thinking, why didn't I just Google this last night when I started to feel really unwell? And then I started beating myself up about it because it was telling me all sorts of all horrible, scary things like risk of miscarriage and stuff like that. So, oh my goodness. So I was a complete mess. I had rang my midwife and she said, you need to be seen at the main hospital at their day assessment unit. So you have to go there. So I rang my mum and she came straight over. This was at like half six in the morning bless her, and we went straight over to the hospital. They actually took me to the birthing suite, um, but they put me in a room far from other people. I was on my own, so I, I also had my own toilet and everything, my own bathroom, which was handy, obviously. And that is where I stayed. They cleared the room out of everything apart from the bed that I was led on and the you know, the SATS machine where they link you up to it and everything. They even took the chair out so my mum had nowhere to sit, bless her. So just sit on the window ledge. After a few hours had gone by, they gave me some anti-sickness tablets. Oh my goodness, they work an absolute treat. I felt so much better after having one and because I couldn't keep any water down, I was so fearful of having this tablet because I'd have to have some water and I was thinking oh my goodness I'm just going to be sick or in front of the nurse and everything but I managed to keep it down I just had a sip and then the tablet starts to work pretty quick which enabled me to actually drink water because I hadn't had any for oh my goodness for probably about 10 hours because every time I drank something I was sick and it was horrible and 
obviously I'm pregnant, so I'm well aware that I need to keep myself hydrated. My midwife did actually say to me after a while, she said, your baby will be okay, it will just take everything it needs from your placenta. So that, that made me feel a bit better, but then I was thinking, well, I need to feed my placenta, surely. Had some tablets and they said, they were happy for me to go home and if it gets any worse then obviously contact them. They said to me it's one of two things. It's either food poisoning because we all ate the same thing. So we're thinking it might be that. Or it's a stomach bug. That's why they took so much precaution was because it could have been a stomach bug and obviously I don't want to pass it on to anybody. So um, hence the secluded room and the masks and gowns and gloves and everything. It's kind of back to COVID-ish times a little bit. I went home with these tablets and I managed to eat some food. So that was lovely. Um, the three little ones were actually all okay. I was a bit worried that they might feel a bit unwell because we still obviously didn't know what it was. And then the next day, my poor mum, bless her, she came down with it as well. So it was a stomach bug. It was nothing to do with the food. Then I found out that lots of my neighbours, lots of them came down with this horrible bug as well. So yeah, everyone was just spreading it amongst themselves. So somebody probably turned up to the gathering unwell and just spread it round. So that was gross. Anyway, we're all over it now. So that was my eventful start to my 18 weeks. Oh, I'm back to feeling completely normal again. Um, so well, we're gonna listen to baby as well. And she was listening in with the thingy. I don't know what it's called. I wanna say Doppler, but I don't actually think that's the right word for it. But anyway, she was listening in and oh, heard the beautiful sound of its little heartbeat. Baby was fine. I was fine, really. I just had an upset, well not upset something, I had a horrendous stomach bug, which was gross. But anyway, we're all fine now. So I was pretty sure it was in my last video. I was talking about buying something for this baby. My memory is shot to bits now, it's completely gone. I forget what I'm doing. I forget words to basic things. I think that's normal. I think that's like baby brain. I think that's baby brain, so that's fine. <laughs> I remember thinking about it, at least if I didn't speak to you about it, about buying something for this baby and I don't know whether I should buy something or not or if I... I was just in a bit of a muddle. But anyway, I've been thinking to myself, I should buy something. Why shouldn't I? I have purchased a changing mat. Oh, here it is. I got this changing mat. It is by Ickle Bubba. I love their stuff anyway. I've got some cot bed sheets for the little ones from Ickle Bubba and the quality is fantastic. I bought this one from Amazon. This is a little bit more expensive than normal. I say normal changing mats. There's a massive range of changing mats on Amazon, but they're usually about six or seven pounds. Now they're six or seven pounds for a reason because they're quite cheap and they do end up ripping um, quite quickly. The foam will start coming out so I have completely abandoned them now. And I bought this one because I already bought one similar for upstairs but that was by Mamas and Papas. It's almost the same design, um, same style with the piping around the outside and I just think it holds it together a lot better and then I went to buy another Mamas and Papas one but I saw this one by Equal Bubba and I really like the pattern and everything and it's basically the same changing mat and I know I'm just I'm talking too much about changing mats but that's the changing mat I've got and I've got that purposely for the little one for upstairs. I'll link I'm pointing to it down there you don't know what I'm pointing to here it is I will link this changing mat in the description. Obviously, I'm a pregnant mama now and I need to be careful what I use on my skin, what I eat. I am just, I am trying to be so careful and I'm very lucky 
that Ella and Jo have sent me some of their gorgeous cosmetics. I'm just gonna show you a few. So what I love about Ella and Jo is that they are vegan friendly and also pregnancy friendly. Now I don't usually see that on um, items and packaging and things like that. Obviously the vegan one, I do like to look out for that, but pregnancy friendly, I thought was a really nice touch. And I think it's a good idea that other pregnant mums do know about this brand. So uh, let me just show you one. So this is Ella and Jo. And this is a melt the day away cleansing balm. So it removes all of your old makeup. And oh my goodness, I have been absolutely loving this. And they also sent me an exfoliating cleanser as well. I have a nice good clean of my face. And I don't need to worry thinking I'm gonna put any bad stuff in my face. And then afterwards I top it off with a bit of serum. In the morning, I would use this one, Hydro, I can never say it hyaluronic serum so I put this on before I put on my moisturizer so it acts as a really nice base for my makeup then I put my moisturizer on from Ella and Joe as well I feel very lucky they sent me a really nice range to try and I have been loving it so this is a plump and protect moisturizer and then I can just put my makeup on my skin is set for the day and yeah, I'm feeling really fresh and I know this is actually nice and good for my skin as well. So yeah, well done Ella and Jo. I really like that brand and I will link them in my description box as well if you want to go and check them out. They are a beautiful company and their products are gorgeous. So apart from me being horribly ill, buying a changing mat and using gorgeous facial products, not a lot have been happening during my 18 weeks. I have made I made a gorgeous vegetarian moussaka. Oh my goodness, I love food. Anyway, I love vegetarian food and I actually got this recipe from HelloFresh. Now, I don't know if they're still doing it right now. I got this recipe a couple of years ago and I kept the recipe card because it is just so nice and HelloFresh have lots of gorgeous recipes anyway, especially vegetarian ones. I was having a look through their website the other day. So let me just touch on pregnancy symptoms, side effects, what are we calling them now? It's not symptoms anymore, is it? I guess it's more of a side effect of pregnancy. Sleeping, okay. I am sleeping okay-ish, I guess. I'm getting a decent enough sleep. I'm having some really weird dreams still. I had some, I had an odd dream the other day that I was being chased by an entire army which was, it was actually really scary. When I thought about it in the morning, I thought, whoa, that actually went on in my head. Why was I even thinking that? But if I'm not dreaming something wacky, I'm getting horrible round ligament pain and I still haven't got myself a support yet. I still haven't found my old support. So that is something that I do need to buy. Definitely second trimester must have is a pregnancy belly support. Just like a wedge or something cozy that you can cuddle up into. I remember when I was pregnant with the twins, Reese bought me this great big huge thing and I wanna call it a genie or something like that, the brand, I can't remember. And I don't even know what I've done with that. I think it might be in the loft, so it might be a matter of digging around upstairs in the loft and try and find these gorgeous items. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to buy buy them again. Still using my lovely Primark water bottle. I take this to bed with me every night and then I drink the whole lot during the night. I just get so thirsty and then I carry it around me during the day. If I go anywhere it's with me. It's not too bad. I mean I think I could do with one a bit more secure and maybe less prone to a little bit of spillage. Mm. I've been having a look online for some maternity clothes. I, do you know, I've had a look at Pretty Little Thing. They seem to have a pretty good range of maternity clothes that don't actually cost a lot of money because you only wear them for a short amount of time, don't you? And then you're like, oh, what are we gonna do these now? It's like, give them away or something. So you're not even gonna have them for very long. So there's, I don't know. I think I need to get some good quality staple pieces that I'll wear quite a bit and then some others I can just mix it up with. Like I think leggings 
is something that I need some more maternity leggings because I do love leggings because they are so comfortable but I'm also aware that I'm going to be quite heavily pregnant throughout the summer so I'm gonna have to look at dresses and shorts and all sorts of things like that I'm pretty sure during the week I got my yeah it wasn't the week before see here's me again with my sieve brain I'm pretty sure last week I got my date through for my 18 week scan, which is so exciting. And also this is, this is a biggie. If I haven't mentioned it to you already, I think I have See, Maybe you should just watch back my previous video about what I was talking about and then I can update you on that. But I have actually started therapy sessions to do with my upcoming birth because I did have, yes, I did actually talk about this because I remember talking about this now. I did actually have my last two births. So the one with George, he was an emergency cesarean and the one with my birth with the twins, which was an elective cesarean, but it was also pretty difficult after, especially with Rosalie being in the NICU for three months. It was such a tough time and I struggle with that a lot. I struggle with the upcoming birth of this baby and how things will plan out because I really would like to have a V back and I, I don't know how things are going to go and I don't know how I'm going to feel and I, re I really don't know. So my lovely midwife put me in touch with this company who after a couple of times talking with them said that they think I've got PTSD from the stress that I have been through with my previous pregnancies because it was actually pretty tough and now I've started oh that's my dog <laughs> Daisy come here and now I have started therapy sessions with this lovely therapist talking through it so I only had my first one during my 18 weeks and that went pretty well I was really nervous about it because you know it's talking to somebody that you don't know and it's about something that's very sensitive as well so I have my next session with her this week my 19 weeks and I hope that goes as well as the last one I mean I can't really say a lot we just spoke about what went on with my previous births if you wanted to hear about my twin pregnancy I will link the videos, I think I've done three videos about that. Um, I'll link that in my description box so you can go and have a look at those. I haven't actually done a video about George's birth yet. I find it quite hard, his birth, because it was an emergency cesarean and everything was very scary and yeah, I struggle with it. I struggle processing it. That's the whole point of this therapy, obviously. I may make a video on that one day I don't know I haven't decided about that yet but anyway I don't want to go all doom and gloom this is 18 weeks of pregnancy things are going great I feel really good I feel happy um, apart from the illness at the beginning which that would that was actually horrible for about yeah three or four days that was not nice the sickness had finished but then it's just getting over and I was so drained and everything yeah so I bought a changing mat life's good and that is my 18 week pregnancy update i hope to see you in my next video which would be my 19 week pregnancy update for pregnancy so if you like this video please give it a great big thumbs up for me and if you've got any comments stick them in the comment section below and i'll try my very best to reply yeah i'm really grateful that you're watching my video and if you haven't subscribed I would love it if you did. It's absolutely free, doesn't cost you anything. And if you press that bell every time I upload a video, you will be alerted, be it a pregnancy video or a vlog or anything. There's all sorts of bits and bobs that I'm doing. So yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I am looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. So have a lovely week and take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.